As the season's end approaches, Arsenal reserves return to Underhill in high spirits on the back of four consecutive wins. Manager Neil Banfield has a handful of first-team players to bolster his already booming side that seem to have found a spring to their step. Marouane Schumach starts tonight looking to recapture some form, while Carl Jenkinson also features as he continues on the road to recovery following a back injury. Having scored 12 goals in their last four games without reply, and with the inclusion of experienced defender Johan Juru and Brazilian international Andre Santos, the Gunners will be confident of taking all three points tonight. Meanwhile, West Brom filled an inexperienced side, featuring only one player that took part in the Baggies' 3-1 win over Arsenal last October. That's midfielder Liam O'Neill. A win for Arsenal tonight would put them second in the league, one place higher than their opponents. Jenkinson forward to Serge Nabry. Gliding in field. Here's Ozzycup. Nabry wants it back. Attempted cross was blocked. And O'Neill wins a throw in on the far side. An encouraging start for Neil Banfield and his Arsenal side. Daniels. Ball in was from Romain Sawyers, but easily intercepted by Ignacy Mikel. Nice play by Aniki over the head of Aaron Birch. And Arsenal coming forward in numbers. Park supported by Jenkinson and Ozzycup, but decides to go alone. And fires one into the bottom corner. And Arsenal lead after 17 minutes. The home side broke with some purpose. Plenty of options. But Young Park didn't need any of them. West Brom playing downhill in this first half, hoping that will be of some advantage as Jones finds O'Neill. It's a comfortable save for Martinez, the Arsenal goalkeeper. As the Baggies look to bounce back quickly from going a goal behind. Delicate touch from Yanaris, Naraniki. Park arriving, Jenkinson on the overlap, Park shoots, good save from Rose. And then a chance for Shamak, but that'll land at the feet of Wesley Atkinson, who clears for West Brom. Park in a similar position from where he scored from. Again, he had options, but decided to strike for goal himself. Denied by Jack Rose. Atkinson goes beyond Serge Nabry. He's moved into a congested midfield area and Arsenal keeping the pressure on. They win it back with Chuck Saniki looking for Schumach. Saved by Rose. Chance still there for Arsenal. Park tees up Jenkinson. Oh, it's come back off Schumach who's on the ground. And may now fall for Nabry and does. And Arsenal extend their advantage right on the stroke of half time. It's the youngster. Serge Nabry who slams the ball home from close range. Arsenal putting West Brom under pressure, winning the ball back and then surging forward in numbers. And it's the impressive Serge Nabry who gives Arsenal a two-goal advantage just before the break. Ball played high towards Alex Jones. Juru into Ozzy Cup. Arsenal moving the ball from right to left and Santos coming forward from a full back position. Nambri on that side as well. Finds Santos. Nice layoff. Here's Aniki. Aniki strikes. Aniki scores. That's three. Ten minutes into the second half. No question about the strike. Not quite sure about the dance though. Arsenal looking very comfortable now. Nabri and Santos combining down the left-hand side. And Aniki finding the bottom corner. Santos finds Ozzycup. Ozzycup continuing to spray the passes around this underhill pitch. Here's Park. Driving infield. Nabri shot. Held eventually by Rose. 
Nabri searching out his second of the game. Arsenal in complete command and looking like they could add to their lead. Ozzykup finds Jenkinson who marauds forward once again then this near side. He and Park have combined well this, uh, this evening. Parts cross, driven into the near post, cleared away by Cameron Gale. And Arsenal's dominance continues, which will certainly please Neil Banfield over on the Arsenal bench. Jenkinson delivers. He'll fall to Nabry off the line. Shamak couldn't turn it home. Arsenal will feel that they can add to this three-goal lead, and maybe they should have done here. Initially with Nabry, which saw his effort off the line, but Shamak should be hitting the target from there. Arsenal again quickly winning the ball back when West Brom do have possession. Nabry, Shamak and Aniki arriving. Shamak tees up, chucks Aniki. Albion players throwing the body on the line. The ball deflected away. And Aniki unable to add to his earlier goal, but some good link-up play. Shimak teeing up the number 10 neatly. Arsenal take this one short. Ozzykup in possession. Plays the way all the way back to Junaid Mead. Now Jenkinson, he's going to have a shot. Just wide. As soon as he received the pass, you could tell Jenkinson was lining something up. Didn't quite catch it as he intended. Carl Jenkinson's throw into a phobe. Anger couldn't quite get there. West Brom give possession away. Martin Anger in a more advanced position than normal. The Arsenal defender playing in a midfield role. Here's a chance for a phobe. Good save from Rose, the chance may be still for Jenkinson. Oh, he's forced it wide. Arsenal's biggest regret from, from tonight will be they haven't put West Brom to the sword. They could have scored a lot more. It was Aniki trying to set up the substitute to Fobe. And then when it fell to Jenkinson, just couldn't quite steer the ball home. Sawyers. Now Adil Nabi. Sawyer's on the return. Holds off the challenge of Yanaris and then strikes for goal. A comfortable and rare save for Martinez in the Arsenal goal. deeper role but now he's up alongside Anger and trying to take up possession and Arsenal move into second in the table their fifth consecutive win their fifth consecutive clean sheet a very impressive night and a comfortable win here 3-0 against West Brom